Praise the praise to him. Come on, everybody, all over your room, open your mouth and worship. Lift your hands and bless him in this place. Greetings in the wonderful and precious name of Jesus. Hi, Bishop Dr. Juliet Fagan. Praise God. Yes, greetings, greetings. Go ahead and start sharing with all your friends. Yes, that's right. My hallelujah belongs to you, mighty God. Yes, we want to take a few minutes, praise God, to just give God some honor, glory, and praise in a different way. Praise God. And I know you're going to enjoy this one. Praise God. Go ahead and start sharing with all your friends. Praise the Lord. Yeah, we want to talk about the power of your praise. Praise God. So night when we want to praise God is the time when we want to praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, my hallelujah belongs to God. want somebody to start praising God wherever you are. I just want you to start praising God. Go ahead and start sharing with all your friends. Go ahead and leave your comments. Praise God and be a part of this awesome time. Praise the Lord. As we praise the Lord and worship the Lord. Uh, what you have to say uh, Sister Phil, I know they're going to be hearing more from you. Praise God. But just go ahead and say what you, what you think about praise. I think praise is what gets us into the presence of God, entering into worship. Praise is very powerful. Yes. It's the fuel that get lights our fire in the presence of God. Amen. I love to praise the Lord. I love praise to God. praise God. Hallelujah. We're not ashamed to lift our hands. No, no, Amen. We're not. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. We're not ashamed to lift our hands and praise the Lord. So go ahead and start sharing with your friends. Praise God. The power of your praise. just to share with you persons. Praise the Lord. God bless all of you that are coming on. Praise God. Um, I might not be able to be called in everybody's name, but you know you're important. God bless you, Reverend. God bless you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. So I'm just going to take a few seconds and just share with you. Friends. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Just want to take a few minutes and share with you, friends. Praise the Lord. While you share also with you of your friends, we're going to praise the Lord. We're going to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Sister Jewel. Praise the Lord. I know you're enjoying yourself with your family. God bless you, darling. God bless you. Yes, my friends, if there was ever a time, praise God, that we need to praise God 
is in these last days. He deserves all our honor, all glory. He deserves everything. Praise the Lord. And if you ever knew the power of your praise, I'm talking to you. If you knew the power of your praise, that's right, praise the Lord. If you ever understood the power of your praise, then you would start to praise God even right now. Praise the Lord. As we go along, praise God, we're going to be hearing from our guests. Um, you know, we have a special guest on tonight who is visiting here in Jamaica once again. And definitely she had to stop by. She had to come by and spend the night with us. Praise the Lord. And it's such a great honor and privilege to have you. Minister Faith Ebanks, come on, just go ahead and say something. Praise the Lord. It's always a privilege and an honor to be with you, Bishop. You're an awesome woman of God. I appreciate you. I love you. And I thank you for your encouragement. You have been a blessing in my life. I have to say it publicly. Praise God. Many people don't know. And we're going to get back a, to that. Yes, Amen. But I, I really yes. thank God for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, we're talking about praising God. And we really want to give God thanks. We're going to be playing a lot of praise and worship music. Because it's all about praise. This, 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 this segment is all about the power of your praise. Praise God. So we're going to be playing music. Just going to be taking a few seconds just to be shared with you, friends. So go ahead and share with some friends. It's going to be awesome. Amen. It's going to be awesome. share with your friends hit that like button that's right somebody set the example just go ahead and tap that button and worship God with your fingers we might not be there in a building praise God but we are here together as one praise God on this program praise the Lord amen Spirit is never wrong. 
and it's the faith, praise God, the Holy Spirit is never wrong. And maybe there is somebody out there who just might be feeling down and discouraged and, uh, you know, just need a little pick up. And, you know, we just have to remind them that they have power, you know, in their praise as they praise God. As you praise God, things begin to happen. He's the way maker. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I worship you tonight. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. I worship you. I worship you. I praise you, Almighty God, for who you are. Yes, Lord. You're going to meet every need. You're going to meet some needs of some people who is on live. Praise God. Online, offline, Father God. You're going to meet the needs of your people because you're still the way maker. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's all about praise, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about praise. This is Carib Cool Breeze for you. And I'm Bishop Dr. Juliet Fagan, right here on the turntable. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. I want to send a special shout out, praise God, to one of my extended PROs out there. Praise the Lord. Yeah, man that love God, praise the Lord. A man with a unique ministry, praise God. A kingdom builder, an ambassador. I want to send a special shout out to my good friend, praise God, brother Raymond Morris, praise God, as he continued to blast the airwaves, praise God, with sharing, praise God, and just being a, a blessing. And I need you to, to just... Send a comment there, Brother Morris. Praise the Lord. Just want you to know that I appreciate you, sir, for all the work that you're doing. You know, just spreading the gospel in your unique way. Praise the Lord. And we appreciate you. It's all about praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the famous way to have to to worship. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I lift my two hands to you, O oh God. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Heal somebody right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Just fill me with your spirit. talking to praise God. I don't know who I'm talking to, but there's a person that's going to be on. Maybe you're already on, praise God, and you're sitting there alone. And, you know, you're sitting there all alone. And, 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 you know, God is about to do something in your bedroom. God is about to do something at your workplace. We come to worship. We come, we come to worship. It's all about perpetual praise. We come to worship. We come to worship you, Almighty God. We come to worship you. Jesus. You know, maybe someone was on the verge of committing suicide, but we're here. We're here with a word. We're here with a song. Hallelujah. Someone is suffering from depression right now. We're here. We're here. Praise God. God is in the house. God is in the house. God is in the house. Worship. My God, my God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Fill me up with Jesus. Oh, we wish, wish. Thank you, Jesus. Just raise your hands if you can. Just raise your hands and, and allow, this, allow this program to touch you like never before. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we wish, we wish, we wish. We come to worship, we come to worship. We come to worship, we come to worship, we come to worship. Provide the fire, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, right now, Father God, there is the fire of God is about to hit somebody's bedroom. Oh, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
is what God is saying, praise God. If you just sacrifice something right now, if you just sacrifice a little bit of your strength, if you just sacrifice, sacrifice, just sacrifice some praise to God. You know, some of you might be going through some challenges. You're tested, your faith is being tested. You understand? Maybe it has to do with your health. Maybe it has to do with your finances. Maybe it has to do with your marriage. Maybe it has to do with your job. Maybe it has to do with your children, your son, your daughters, your grandchildren. But your faith is being tested. You are being tested. I hear the Holy Ghost say, make the sacrifice to praise Him tonight. Make the sacrifice to praise Him this morning, this daylight, this afternoon. Make the sacrifice to praise Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sacrifice something, sacrifice something. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, if you sacrifice something, God is going to sacrifice something on your behalf. Oh, glory. Come on, sister. We can open our mouths. Come on. We got to praise Him. Hallelujah. We got to praise Him. We got to praise Him. We got to praise Him. We don't need to wait until we're in a building. We don't need to wait until we're behind four walls. That's a lot of people can't praise God. They can't raise their hands. They can't worship until they're behind four walls. You can praise God right there where you are. Oh, because the Holy Spirit is, is being invoked right now. Hallelujah. You know, the Holy Spirit, look at that. Come on. Just touch those hearts and those lights and just begin to worship God. Some of you are going to find tears begin to run down because some of you should not be here. You really should not be here. You should not be alive. You should have been dead and gone, but you are still here. So we come to praise God. We come to worship God. You know, if you're on alcohol, you, if you're struggling with alcoholism, you know, just, just praise God. If you're struggling with some kind of drug addiction, you know, nicotine addiction, and you're there, and you're going to church, and you gave your heart to the Lord, and you really want to serve God, you're struggling with some stuff. The struggles are real. The struggles are real. The struggles are real. The struggles are real. But you know something? Struggle your struggle self right through and begin to say, Lord, I thank you, I praise you, I magnify your name. Hallelujah. Jesus, right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, it's all about your presence, oh God, it's all about your power, and right now in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that this program will not be like the one before, Father God, it will not be like the one before, but Father God, your presence, your anointing, oh Jesus, oh God, <laughs> Oh Jesus, thank you Jesus, oh glory, oh Jesus, yes, yes, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, yes, 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 yes. Yes, we got to run over in our praise until our families, until our relatives, until our children and our grandchildren are saved. They're, until they are until they're birthed into the kingdom of God, until they're born again. We want to be overflowing, praise God, with the joy of the Lord, the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. And you know, until sickness have to leave, fill me up, Lord. Who else want to say, fill me, Lord, I need you. I can't do it without you. I want to run over. Oh, Jesus. Just open your mouth, Sister Faith. Just get close to this mic and let's praise him for a minute. Come on, just open it. I know that you have a little throat here, but just come a little closer. Oh, Jesus. We worship you. 
We still to we worship you. We worship you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead, go ahead, Mrs. Strong. Right now, Father God. I pray someone to receive this program, that's going to be encouraged to know my deliverance. Father God, that they will lift up their prayer needs. Father God, that they will lift up their prayers and presence to come yes. to their lives. Oh, God. Hallelujah. I must remember all these kind of praise. Almighty God, oh God. We bring down the anointing for us to be overcomers in the mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Doesn't matter what you're going through, a situation is nothing is impossible with you, mighty God. You, we Jesus. worship you and we give you all the praise. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, God. Hallelujah. Our majesty, dominion, and power belong to you. We thank you tonight. We are able even to open our mouth and to thank praise you. Jesus. Many persons can't talk tonight. They're dumb or they're on, sick or they're weak, oh God. But oh, we're alive and we're well. We, and we have action. Oh God, we have the will. We have the way to praise you tonight. Come on, come God. No stone, no trees will, will cry out in my place. I will have my praise in the presence tonight, dear God. I lift you up tonight. I praise you. Oh, Father, in the God. name of Jesus, Hallelujah. I lift you up tonight with my praise. Oh, I thank God. you for being the God of my salvation. When oh. everything else fails, you never oh. fail. Your oh, God Jesus. is a problem Jesus. solver. Oh, God, you are the greatest of the greatest. Somebody's not the somebody's getting the a breakthrough. Somebody's getting a breakthrough. The undisputed Jesus. champion of the universe. We praise you. Hallelujah. We honor you. Thank you, Jesus. We call you, Almighty God. We thank you thank for you. the blood of Jesus. Thank you. And we release the blood of yes, Jesus. Yes, we lose the place right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. We send the word, mighty God. God we have the authority to bind and to loose yes, tonight. And we bind every spirit unlike you. Any depression, any worry, any stress. Hallelujah. Mighty God, in the name, in the of, name Jesus, of Jesus, we praise our way through those things and we declare yes. that your word stands over everything else, yes, mighty Lord, God. Yes, Lord, your yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. To speak that which Hallelujah. is Hallelujah. as if it is by faith. We praise our way through every situation, whatever seems impossible for us tonight, mighty In God. The name of Jesus. Nothing shall be impossible when we believe and we yes. believe that you are so we thank can you. be, thank mighty you. God. We thank you, we worship you, we give you praise thank and you, honor thank tonight. You, Jesus. We love you, we thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, touch someone tonight, Lord. Touch someone tonight, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. I just want somebody to go ahead and start praising God. No two programs, no two programs are alike. I never try to be alike. I never try to come with the same thing because it will weary you. Praise God. I'm very diversified. Praise God. And I'm led by the Spirit of God. I'm not led by my feelings or my emotions. I'm not programmed. I'm not I'm not in a box somewhere. I, I, I'm led by the Spirit of God. And, and there's a gentleman on, there's a man on, there's a brother, there's a husband, there's a son. Yes, Come on, there's a daughter. Come on, hallelujah. Christ. There is a wife. There is a woman. There is a sister, an aunt. Somebody's on. Somebody will be listening. Praise God. Who will say, Father God, I thank you for something that is different. I thank you for something that even though I might not be a church goer. Even though I mean, it's not, I, somebody might not be going to church. Yes. This might be the only church. Yes. This might be the only church for somebody. Jesus. Somebody might not have put their foot in the church for a long time. Somebody might not have gone gone, gone past a, a church door for a long time. And, and, and you just don't know what God is doing right now in this program. Uh, somebody might be laying there in a bed. A brother might be there who has fallen from grace. Come on. Somebody, a sister might be there who has yes. been so wounded, yes. so weak. Uh, we and then and, 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 and this program, friend of a wounded heart, Karen Poonbreeze, yeah. you, you just don't know, you just don't know what God is doing. Not just in one demographic, not just in one location, yes. but all over the world. You know, India, Pakistan, yes. Africa, Thank Canada, the Cayman Islands, yes. Jamaica, United States of America, Asian countries. Yes. You understand? You just don't know. The Caribbean islands and, and nations. We just don't know what God is doing because of this program. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your praise, your praise has power. Thank 
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, right now, right now in the spirit, there might be somebody who is there who, you know, you're, you're, remember, you're remembering some things. You're remembering some things that you have gone through throughout this week. Maybe just yesterday. Uh, maybe just today, tonight. But you've gone through something. Maybe it's been a couple of years ago. You know, um, you know, one of the things that we got to understand, Minister Faith, is that, you know, I, I went to preach at Hope Worship Center the other night and the Lord birthed in my spirit to preach about struggles and the storms of life. Because, you know, we, we, we can easily camouflage and put on a front. Yeah, we, and, we, and we do it well, I love that. And yeah, uh, yeah, unfortunately we do it well. You know, we, we, put, on a, we put on a show, we know how to dance, we know how to dip, we know how to clap and shake the tambourines, we know how to do it. But deep down inside, there's some people on there's some people viewing right now that probably crying. Yes. You know, there's still some deep-seated hurts and wounds yes. that, you know, they're praying. They love the Lord. Because yes. sometimes for some reason, I, as I say, sometimes we tend to buy into the notion that because you're a Christian, that you mustn't go through anything. You're invincible. That you're invincible. But all those that will live righteous, yes. you know, will suffer oh, yes. persecution. Yeah, that's the word. And so we can't we can't make it look that because a person is going through some struggles or going through some things that they're not saved. That's correct. Talk to me, talk to that's me. That's correct. Because when the challenges come, yes. they come sometimes like storms. Oh, like Job. Yeah, just like Job. Or David. Or David. David. Come on, scriptures. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you know? Um, tell me what you tell me what stands up with you with Job. You know, we're talking about our praise, you yes. know. And I, and I, I look at Job as one of the persons who went through so much. Yes. You know, his children died, his, his flocks, he lost everything. Yes. You know, but he praised God. He would, ne he would never give up. Right. You know, he said, he, he spoke into his own life. He said, wow, I love in that. my flesh, I will see God. And he worms are eating his flesh. My God. But he believed God. And he said, you know what? Naked I come into this world and naked I will go out. Wow, you listen. See people anyway. talk to someone out there. Just and look at that. Sometimes as Christians, yes, just look at that camera. People make us believe that they lie to us and make us believe that um if we're going through a hard times because we sin yeah. or it's something or wrong fall, or you fell. Or you fall. But if you're gonna serve God right, the enemy is going to fight you. I love that. He's going to beat you up sometimes. But our reliance is on the word of God. Amen. We have power through the word and our praise. Our praise. And that's why David was so successful. He would praise God. Even though David messed up. Yeah. Even though he messed up. And even though he had so much wars and fightings and trials and storms in his life. He, he wrote the Psalms as praise to God. The Psalm of Thanksgiving. Yes. My favorite Psalm is 121. Go ahead. I will Go. lift up my eyes onto the hills. See, somebody's oh, being blessed. My help. My help coming from my the Lord. My God, I feel the Because Holy sometimes when you're going through hell on earth, you have to say, Lord, nobody can help me down here. I'm declaring out of my mouth that I will lift up my eyes to you because I know my help comes from you. And he said, I will not suffer your foot to be moved. Yes, yes, he yes. He that keep it, thee will not slumber. Wow, look at never that. Never sleep. Come on, tell, pray, tell know, somebody. Just tell somebody, you know, just look at that the camera. Lord, thing. I want somebody to out there to Yeah, just look at this. You got to look there. That's the right. The Lord is a keeper. Yes. The Lord is a shade upon your right hand. My God, go ahead, woman I God. don't care what's happening to you tonight. Tomorrow, the, or this tomorrow, morning, anytime. anytime. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The problems you're facing will not overcome you. You Tonight, I want to see somebody out there, your praise is equipping you. My God. Is anointing you to yes. be an overcomer. My God. Stay on the Lord's side and praise him. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's hard. People will always sometimes say, "Sometimes we don't even feel." Oh God! Come on, but talk when to me. trouble take you, the last thing you want people to tell you is, "Well, go and pray and go and praise." You yes, don't I feel know. that way. You don't feel human beings, not the flesh and no. the flesh. So, but find a praise, the Lord. I know it's tough, but I'm never gonna see me through. I thank you, Lord. 
I know it's rough because I've gone through a lot of things in my life yeah, in the past three years. And I, I, I remember that. a few years back when I was going through some bad situation in my family. And I, I, I didn't know where to turn. I was confused. And I'm saved. I said, God, I need a word. Give me a word, Jesus, to hold And, and you just said something. Yes. And you're saved. And, then, yeah. and you're sweetly and, saved because yeah, we know that. I have to call on God. I said, God, please, I beg you, just give me a word to hold me. I felt go off my head because this situation I'm faced with, I can't manage it. Help me. Help me. And you know, the Lord spoke to me and I, I didn't understand. He said, for all things work together for good to them that love the Lord yes. and is called because according love to his purpose. When you love God huh. and you're called according to God's purpose. Not your purpose. Not God's your purpose. purpose. That's God's the word. Purpose. Not your purpose. You're going to have Stick a pin right there because we want to focus on purpose. Yes. Because a lot of people want to focus on their agenda. No, not their yours. purpose. You understand? But when you are called according to God's, God's purpose. purpose. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. You're going to be challenged. Oh, God. When the Lord, when you're called unto God's purpose, yes, you're gonna have some opposition from the people you love the most. Yes, disappointments are gonna come, hurt, separation and hurt. Because when I was going through the, you know what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I've been there. For, with me. Let's talk. You cry with me. Uh, yes. You, you're and, 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 and the thing about it, I'm not. You're not a member of no. our church. And that's that, what that, I love about you because you transcend religious borders. Wow. And I have to tell you that. Your ministry transcends religious borders. You don't wow. care if you're a Catholic or you're a Methodist or you're a Baptist. You just pray with people. And when I was going oh, through, God. you know, don't make me now. Don't when I was going through, now. I, I'm telling you the truth. I have to oh. tell you, and I, I want to hear this, that, they, that for us to be effective Christians, we need to transcend borders. Stop look on how people look on what it's supposed to look like and love my one God, another my because God. change will not come until we love each other. Love is the, love is the principle thing. How we look. If we don't matter if we have natural hair, we have we don't wear any makeup, we look as something more as as shine or whatever. Oh if you God. don't love God and love your, and love your and brother as yourself, you ain't going where I believe I want to go and that's heaven. My God. So when you go going through the obstacles of life, it ain't gonna come. Stress is gonna come. Hold it there. You said something, they're gonna come. Yes. Because a lot of people think that, that because I'm a Christian. You know why? Why this what happened, happened to, to me? me? I asked you know, yeah, I've I've done too. I've asked. I mean, question. you know some things that I've been through. Me yes. and Bishop Leroy. Yes. You understand? But as you was saying, you know, many times you didn't know where to turn, who to call, and I was there. I made yes. myself available. Yes. If it was it's two o'clock in the morning. It's true. It's true. And you know, I've gone to God many times. You know, I like God. What did I do wrong? Did I do something wrong? Is just meant to repent from. Was did I wrong anybody? Because I'm searching myself. And the Lord said. For all things work together for good to them that love the Lord. What all all the stress, all the strain, all the what worry, all the things you happen in your life. The bad things sometimes happen to you, you hurt as a Christian. God is preparing oh you God. for something more powerful. Oh but we must take tests as Christians. When you go through a hard time, just learn to praise pass, God. And pass the test. And pass I, I, the I, I, I give them a little bit of music. Somebody, go ahead and start praising God. Go ahead and start praising God. Set up your loves, your heart. Let us let let, let this woman of God know that you appreciate her tonight. Let, you know, let, let us know. Let both of us know as women that that, that you know we, we're just we're just we're just real. Praise the Lord. We're not here faking it. We're not here faking it. We're not here to put on no glamour show. This ain't about no glamour show. This is a real thing. You know, naked. We're just naked, bare and naked before God, before you all. Amen. We're just talking it as it is. Come on, somebody, stand up those praises. We're going to just be naked here. Yeah, that's right. We're just going to tell it to you as it is, as you praise God. Somebody's going to get a miracle. I prophesy. Somebody's going to get a miracle. Yeah, I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Somebody's got to get a miracle. Somebody's got a miracle right now in the name of Jesus. When I say a miracle, it might not be a big thing. It might not be a, a, a big thing. You might not you might not see a limb glow black. You might not see your, your, your teeth turn gold. But somebody's got to get a miracle right where you are. There is something that's got to break for you. Something is going to break off of you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, there is power in your praise. Yes. There is power in your praise. And somebody's praise is coming back. Yes. Somebody thought that they lost their praise. Yes. But somebody's Thank praise you, is Jesus. coming back. There is a brother praise coming back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
You were saying as a Christian, fill with the Holy Ghost, yes. speaking in tongues, yes. you know, love the Lord. Yes, but you were going through some stuff. Oh my God, some rough stuff. Oh and, and, and we gotta, we gotta hit some things here <laughs> because the Holy Spirit just burst in my spirit that there are some people on who have gone through some marital situations. Oh yes. You have been there. Been there. Trouble in the family. Yeah, get a little closer here for me. Trouble in the family. Prison facing family members. Oh, just to bring host up there. Prison. Yeah, we, 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 got, we naked. Yes. We come in naked. Prison yeah. facing yeah. family members. And people laughing. Yeah. Family members going out of their minds. People laughing at you, talking about you. But can I tell you, Bishop? I should, I should supposed to be a Christian. Yes. And if she was such a prayer warrior, why would this happen, why, why this happen to her yes, daughter or her son or whatever? Yes. For all things work together for good. Because tonight, if I didn't go through all of that, I couldn't come on air and tell somebody, you're going to make it. Talk to and somebody. you're an overcomer. I don't care what the enemy is doing in your life. Come on, I don't care son. what he's done or going, intending to do. Your praise is going to equip you to get overcomer right. tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of you're Jesus. You're not going to bow. No, you're not going to say, you are an overcomer in the name of Jesus. Oh, no matter what the enemy is right. beating and fighting you. That's his job. That is his job. But at the end of the day, God's going to boast about you. Sometimes we go through things and we're wondering, what happened here? What happened here? God is watching you and yes. saying, look at my daughter. He said look at my son. son. He's not bowing. He's under heavy pressure. But he's not bowing. She's not bowing. That's my daughter. And the greatest of all of this, Bishop, is when you stop when when the storm coming and it's raging. When you know some of the stuff that I've been through. Oh, Talk yeah. to me. Oh yes. And you pray to God. I, I oh, can't God. even pray. I can't even pray, but I just want to thank you for helping me. I just want to praise you. I've given you a yet praise. The storm is raging. It's not over yet. But I'm praising you, Lord Jesus. And the time coming, the Lord coming and said, This is it. Yeah, enough is enough. Enough is enough. My God. Angels are dispatched to defend God's people. My God. And when, and when, the defend, when the defense come for you, the beautiful thing about it is you can look back and say, wow. Thank you, Jesus. Let's, let's, let's look back. Yeah, let's look back. Look at that. Look, look, look at that. Say, Thank you, Jesus. You, know, you need to look back. You need yeah. to look back at something. When you're going look to back, back at something. Yes. You know, you might not want to turn physically. Yes. But, but look back at something. Look, look at how many curtains. Look, look, look how many things God has brought you through. Yes. Yeah, don't tell me that you did, that God didn't bring you through some stuff. Because there's not one of us that have not been through something. Oh, and right now, right now as we are speaking, people are on that is creeping through, they're struggling, they're yes. going through. Yes. There's so, there's some people on right now that are facing some challenges. Very hard challenges. And and, and, and every time they put one foot forward, two step backwards. It's two sometimes ten. Yes. Backwards. And you know, it's like sometimes they just feel like giving up. And God has forgotten them. And that God has but forgotten them. The, the important thing about us Christians to always remember that it's not, the, it's not the problem you face, but how you handle the problem make a difference. Amen. You can throw up your hands and just walk away from God and forget about it, or you can stick with us in God. I know the God I serve. Hallelujah. I know He's able to do exceeding abundantly, abundantly. above oh. what I could ever ask or even think or even imagine. Yes. That's my God. 
I just do it for me. It doesn't seem so now. It doesn't feel this way now. I feel like I want to run and cry and scream and make up noise. But I believe the word of God. And this word here can't fail. And I even children, because nowadays the enemy is attacking our children. He's attacking. Come on, see, he's attacking he's children. Attacking up because you realize youth. that the, the, the youth, our children, are the, are the people of tomorrow. Yes. They are they are tomorrow and attacking our children with all sorts, sorts of things. Of things but know. tonight I take authority mm -hmm. against those spirits and is released against our children to cancel their purpose and I stop and block those spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Because we have authority, you know. Yes. The word of God says life and death yes. in, in the, the power, power of, the tongue. of the tongue. I'm speaking you know, life the other to day, our children. The other right day, now in Jesus' name. The other day, one of our, our brothers are um, on there. Brother Raymond Morris, he posted the other day about, um, you know, is there any power in decreeing? Oh, God, You yes. know, I mean, and, you know, everybody's writing this and everyone, some are yeah. negative. Yes. Some people don't believe that, yes. that, 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 that the, when you decree a thing that it works. Oh, some people, do. but I have proven the power of declaration. I and if I have power, oh, I have, God. you know, I have proven the power of declaration and the power of oh, decreeing a thing. And agreement. Coming in and, agreement. And, and coming in agreement. Praise the Lord. So sometimes you, you try not to get caught up in all the beggary elements and the arguments. The the I but I stick to the word, word of God says. says it I, says, while you yet speak, if you hear, and before you ask, you shall answer. Exactly. So all in his face, sort of put it down. And we just got to agree it. That's it. You know, we'll open our mouth and yes. we'll speak it over our children. Come on. Here, every curse is broken. In the name Death of Jesus. And back in Jesus' name. Yes. We're not accepting any failures for our children. And we want them to fail. I don't care how they're behaving. Yes. I know it's hard as parents sometimes to handle it. But the Bible says, the word of God says, the children of the righteous are delivered. That's and right. final. And we decree it. And we decree it. And we decree it. It's done. And, and that's why it's so important for yes. also, it, you know, it's so important for us as Christians and especially as ministers of the word, praise God. That's why it's so important that we don't get up. And boast and brag about our own children alone, and I then we bad brag about our children, bad about no, other people's no, children. No, you know, you understand? Because sometimes, you know, sometimes people, but they, they will swear, they will swear to God's throne that my daughter would never do this, mm -hmm. my son would never do this, and my son is this, and my daughter is this, and my this, my dad, my dad. And then as soon as Somebody has child make a mistake, or somebody has daughter is doing something, or somebody has son is doing something. Then we ready to take a hammer yes, and, a, and, kill and, and kill them. And you know, and that's ungodly. That's, ungodly. that's witchcraft, if it you is, ask me. It is, it is. That's witchcraft. It is. That's trying to that's trying to speak evil. Yes. That's speaking evil over somebody else's child. Yes. And so that's why I always say, when it comes to young people, when it comes to young people, when it comes to young people. I'm, I'm very stern but loving yes. because I, I mean the best for them. I, when it comes to young people, I always love my young people. I honesty. love you, my young people. They will tell you at church, Bishop is very firm, but Bishop love children. Yes. Bishop love, love Because, you know, my, for instance, we all have, all of us, some of you on there, you have sons and daughters or nieces and nephews who are in college, universities, or they're traveling overseas. Some of them are by themselves. Yes. You know, we both do yes. it. Have, have yes. the same. And sometimes we got to sow into somebody else's son or somebody yes. else's daughter. That's we got to have some patience and, 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 and understanding and compassion with yes. them. Yes. Because at the end of the day, when you sow, yes. come on, talk to me. That's one of Bishop's leave our favorite. Yes. You know, what you Bishop's sow. Is you're going to reap. Yes. Come on, somebody. What you sow, you're going to reap it sooner or later. And so, you know, this is awesome. I, I love this passion. program. I have a passion for young people. For I know children. that's your ministry. I and know I, that. And I pray for the young people. And in all honesty, parents out there, the demons these young people face now, we Come never on. face it growing up. Come we are demons, you know, to fight. But these demons that are released now against our young people, they are different from anything we've ever faced. When we were growing up, we didn't see the large scale of things that these young people have to face now. We didn't have them to deal with. Amen. We were more sheltered. 
as yes, young yes, we were, yes, as young yes. we were growing up. Yes, yes. These young people are exposed. We didn't have the, the technology. No, we didn't. We didn't have the gadgets. No, we didn't. So all we knew pretty much was church. Exactly. And we, and uh, we you didn't, know church, didn't know church. Didn't know the volume of evil that is now in this dispensation. We have to pray for young people, and I mean, everybody's child is my child. That's right. That's right. I pray for people's children. Because I know what it means to hurt as a mother. It's tell my child is it. in problems. I tell me about it. But let me tell you, when my child was in problem, the Holy Ghost had to sit on me so I don't lose my mind. Wow, you joking. Okay. okay. So I think it's a mother. It's not easy. <coughs> no, sir. It's a mother. And I thank God for those good, know, for those great fathers. Too. I have to tell you, when you're in trouble sometimes, people don't know that you're looking to help, they don't help you. Don't be upset with them. Don't be. The Lord spoke to me about that. Because at a time when I had a... It was terrible, you know. Yes. And I was expecting... Certain individuals. Help from certain places and encouragement and, and calls. It, it never happened. But guess what? The Lord told me, don't be upset because I went to God, you know. Okay. I went to God about it. And I said, I was listening to the voice of God. Right. I went to the Lord and said, how come... This didn't, how come this person that was even call and check on me, he didn't oh, even Lord. ask, God, I'm, who oh, they, you're and, listening, you're and listening. the Lord told me, you know, do not do that. Yeah, just, just forgive. You must trust in me. Oh, Stop God. looking to people. Wow, how many are you listening? How many are you listening? expecting people. people to solve the problems for you. You need to look to me and get on your face before Look unto the hills from whence cometh my help. You know, because yeah. God is unchanging. We as human beings change all the time. We change our mind, change our clothes, change who we are, our attitudes, but God never changes. Never changes. So don't, parents out there were having issues with your children and disobedient sometimes, rude sometimes. That In my experience. <laughs> In my, oh God, yes, but remember yes. that they are your children. And because I love it. they're your children it. and you decide to live for Christ, the enemy will to attack them because yes. you know what I can do for you, you know. That's Sometimes what some, that's what happened. When they can't get when the enemy see that you are determined, mother, when the enemy see, I know some of you are crying. When the enemy see that you are determined as a father, as an uncle, because some of you are guardians, as a grandparent, yes. you know, like yourself. Some sometimes, you know, when the enemy see that that you are determined to live for God, comes what may. The struggles are real, the storms are raging, but you are determined that your anchor is down. Yes. Your anchor has you drop your anchor deep. Yes. You drop your anchor, and you are determined that you are not. You know, you might sway from side to side. Come on. Yes. When the winds begin to blow, you might sway from side to side. Not moving. You might even get weak. You might even bend over. Sometimes when the problems come, you're so bent over. You understand you're so wounded. Yes. But you are determined. So the enemy will go after the next best thing. Yes. The enemy will go after the next best thing, which is most time our children, yes. our grandchildren. Yes. Or he will go after our brother. Because there are sometimes people might not have children. Right. And there are some of you, you might not have a son, a biological son, or a daughter, you know, for whatever reason, whether it was, you know, um, surgical, you know, with a hysterectomy, or, you know, you have um, polycystic, you know, fibroids, and, you know, all kinds of things, you know, me being in the medical field, understand all of the, you know, the ramifications and all these things that happen to women from time to time with the reproductive organs and men also because yes. there are there are, there are times that nothing is wrong with the woman yes. but the man has a low sperm count yes. or you know something is wrong with him yes. May, uh, maybe due to medication yes. or sickness Whatever you know reason. things yes. hamper things and yes. the pregnancy does not happen right. you understand so you might not have physical biological children but I know there are many of you out there who have hundreds of children come on somebody yes. come on just start praising god yes. you have so many children there are some of you that have children and they're adults now they're grown and you have so many other children they are children of your neighbors you know there's there's there, there are children they're children of your best friend you know they love you they call you auntie yes. you know there's some children that as they meet me they call me auntie for what reason i don't know mm -hmm. They just take to me an auntie, and I just receive it. You know, some of them say mommy. Some of them just call Bishop Daddy. 
you know, or uncle. And these are, these are children that God also placed yes. in our lives for a reason yes. and for a purpose. You understand? And we have to we have to pray them through. Yes, we must. You have to pray we them must. through. And you understand? Their lives. You know, sometimes they're gonna give you blood pressure. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes they give you heartaches. Yes. Sometimes they disappoint you. Sometimes they hurt you so bad. But then you know, you, you said to yourself, if this child wasn't put here in my life by God for a reason and a purpose, then it would not have happened. You understand? And so I just want to say to God be the glory. And those of you that are on, I pray that I'm encouraging you right now. I pray that we are encouraging you. And if we're blessing you, go ahead and start praising God. Leave your comments. Still share. Because, you know, this is a unique program tonight. It wasn't about all the fancy music. It's not so much about all of the jump up, jump up. But I know that we are touching lives. Yes. We are touching lives. We are touching many lives. children that you have given a morsel to. Thank God for that little boy, that little girl, that you have given a piece of bread. Thank God for that little boy, that little girl, that you have bought a one pencil, one school bag for, you know, whatever. You know, just thank God for that child or that son, that, that boy, that girl, that teenager that, 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 that you know, that, that you have given, shared, that you have shared a meal with or, or, or did something special for. You never know what they're going to become. You never know what that child is going to become. You know, and I always say seven brothers, seven different minds. Seven brothers. And to some of you parents out there, let me talk to you. Some of you have, might have two children. You might have one child. You might have three children or five or whatever. Never you compare. Never you compare any of your children with each other. Yes. It's very damaging. Yes. You know, one of them or two of them or three of them, one may become a lawyer, one may become a doctor, one may become um, a politician, one may become an educator, and you might have that one. You might have that one who might just be a cashier. Come on, someone. Come on, someone. I feel, you know, when I say this, I feel a praise in here. You know, I, I just felt a release in my spirit when I say that something has just gone in the atmosphere. You know, don't pressure your son. Don't pressure your daughter. Don't compare them and try to line them up with the Jones. Love him. Love her. They might not have no university degrees. They might not have full A's. They might not have, you know, all of the things that you see your neighbor and your friend have. I love her. Love him. That might be the only one. That might be the only one to come up and wipe your butt. Yes. I might, it might sound hard. That might be the little one to come up and wipe your face. That might be the one that will show something in your hand. While the others with all their degrees... Yes. And all of their their their, 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 their certificates Very and true. diplomas Very just true. turn their backs on you. So don't you ever favor any of your children. That's what happened. Praise God. That is what happened with it. Was it? Was it? Was it Isaac? And Jacob. Uh, yeah, Jacob. Yeah. Well, 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 and, and you know, with the brothers, you know, yes. sometimes you know it slipped the hair, and then you know, and Rebecca, right? And and you know, they wanted to favor. Yes. You understand? They want to favor their children. Yes. So don't you favor your children. Don't favor, don't put down that, 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 that boy. Don't make that boy or that girl feel because they don't have no college degree. That you're going to make them feel as if that because this little one or that one is bright, so as we like to say, smart. That you're going to make that little one feel stupid and insignificant. Sometimes that one 
might be the older one. What you said? It's a very powerful program tonight I, because we as we as Christians and ministers of the gospel, and we even do that in the church sometimes. Yes, we must. We have to be careful how we treat with the children and the, with the word of God, because the word specifically states who we are. It says we're a mighty priesthood, a holy nation, we're peculiar people. We're called forth out of darkness into God's marvelous light. So we should behave that way and treat others that way. Praise God. Yes, Praise God. Should. I have seen, I have seen, I have seen children who had potential just come to nothing because of words that their parents yes. or teachers, yes, even educators have spoken over them and they were wounded from a tender age. Yes. And so they tell themselves, well, teachers say, that I'm not gonna amount to anything right. because I'm getting low grades. Right. Well, my mother say I'm worthless. Yes. Talk to me, somebody. Like Come on, we're talking about like praising. Like we're talking about praising. Daddy. You know, you're gonna be worthless like your father yes. or your no what good mother. Daddy. You know, yes. or or I don't know what bringing this world for. Yes. Come bad on, give me some more bad breed bad. family. Yeah, bad. You created. You come from the bad breed family. Yes. You you you're acting just like a bad breed family cousin and. And, and all that. you know words are creative yeah, devil, kind of yeah devil all of those things children. we say our children we don't know that that there is power in our praise you see what mess what happened to a lot of folks that is listening to me right now they thought that when i say power in your praise that it was only going to be spiritual yes a lot of people think that when that when i put, put that when i when the holy ghost said i want you to tell somebody there is power in your praise it's not just in the spiritual aspect of, of us feeling that we must praise God. That's one part of it which we have covered. But when we talk about praise, we're talking about adoration. Yes. We're talking about lifting up. Appreciation. We're talking about appreciation. We're talking about encouraging. Yes. Come on, you want to praise someone, you want to encourage them. Yes. Even when even when they don't look like they deserve it. You know, there's a lot of marriages today. I have a kind word to say. There's a lot of marriages today that has gone sour. Yes. Because the man... Of words. And I'm talking about in the church too. Oh, yes. The, the husband, I'm talking about even in, even in pastoral. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of times that wives are bleeding yes. in the church. Yes. And husbands. Wives are bleeding. The wife is bleeding. And the pastor is ministering to everybody else and every other sister and his wife is there bleeding so same with you know? the man. and there's same thing with the man you know as a as a woman leader as an apostle as an evangelist as a preacher you might sometimes be more what we would say then we like to term and say lay myself you might be a little more anointed you might be a little more bolder and courageous than your husband Look at me and Leroy, for example. Let's talk about us. Yes. Um, you know, Leroy is not a person too much in the forefront. You know, he's behind the scenes. His personality is different, personality is different from mine. Make him less. But that does not make him no, it does not. any less. And no. I show the public that. Yes. You know, I show that to the world. You know, I, 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 I compliment him publicly. Somebody might say, oh, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. I, whatever I do, I can do behind closed doors. That's what messing up a lot of marriages now. Because we tell like, say we're doing it behind closed doors and not a thing ain't going on. Sometimes you need to give your spouse, let, let him know that you're not ashamed of him. Let her know that you're not ashamed of her. Let your spouse know. Don't be complimenting everybody else. Yes. Come on church folks now. Don't be complimenting all everybody else and telling everybody else how nice they look, yes. how handsome he is, and how, how how nice she look. You know, and you got your own, yes. and you ain't saying nothing. I know this sound rough. We're talking about the power of your praise. Yes. We're talking about the power of your praise. Help people because we 
is Christian, let the high things and trust. No, you see, things. a lot of times, a lot of times, we're talking about the power of your praise. A lot of times, people might see even me and, and, and Bishop Leroy. Um, one, one day, somebody said to me, um, one day, one day somebody said, um, why do you call your husband Bishop? Why do your husband call you Bishop or Apostle or whatever? I said, listen, that's the problem we have. I say, I respect him, I honor him. That is his position. I'm his wife, but at the same time, we are ministers of the gospel. Yes. And if I'm gonna be equipping the body of Christ, I lead by example. Yes. I lead by example. Amen? Amen? When the two of us is together, when we were private, it ain't no bishop, it ain't no this, it ain't no that, it's Lily, it's my boopsy, it's babes, apple pie, juju, that's what we talk about. Amen? Amen? But as long as I'm in the public domain, praise God, yes. I'm going to respect, respect him. His Come on. Respect his and I know he's someone you, you look up to oh, and respect. Yes. It's awesome, man of God. Great, awesome, man of God. Um, I have to tell you that um, as Christians, and I know as Christians, we have to be examples by living the word of God. Amen. And it's, God just wants us to just follow his plan for our lives. Amen. And like I said, my passion is for the young people. Our children, we need to sometimes get up in the middle of the night. Just get pray for olive oil and anoint them and speak to their lives. Know, that's right. And break off some things off them, you know. Amen. And speak out of our mouth the things we want to see happen to our children and even to ourselves. Yes. Yes. You know? Praise God. Stop. I was saying to somebody today, stop saying you're a man or I'm just an idiot. No, you will. You will try to speak that. Yeah, but you're, you're cursing yourself. Yes. And there's a lot of some of you are on right now. I want to say I thank God for you. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for cherishing this program. You know, we were touching lives. Thank you for your comments there. You're an you know. anyway. Pardon? You're an empower anyway. Yes. You're an empower because notice anything I'm going to do anything different, I always call you. Yes, yes, yes. Because you do. I respect, you know, your opinion and I know you pray. Yes. And there are times I don't even have to call you. You call me and say, you know, Fede, I get this in my How spirit. How many times have I talk yes. about those prophecies that have come to and pass? I, and I said, wow. You know, sometimes your floor, I have to tell you, the Lord has used the floor of me several times. But tonight I want to encourage somebody who's listening out there, who's going through a lot, who think they can never overcome and that they, they're not going to make it. That's a lie from hell. You are created and you're anointed to overcome and to help others to overcome because many of us are only blessed for ourselves. It's not so you are blessed to be a blessing to encourage somebody to say, I know it look rough right now, but hold on. And if you're hungry, I'm going to feed you. I'm not going to say, well, I'm going to pray for a bread drop from heaven. I'm going to so come on, share God. my bread. And, and I just want to say congratulations before we come off of the air. I want to say big congratulations to you, Minister Faith. You know, uh, you've been in the church for many, many years, dark years. You know, it is so amazing, though. And you, you were saved long before me. <laughs> While I was at the hospital, nurse, nurse, going through nursing on, you was a Christian. I always admired you. <laughs> so I must tell you, I always admired you. I mean, you know, I've never seen you yet faith. Well, I have seen you one or two times when we are praying and going through some stuff. But I mean, in the public sphere, I've never seen you without a smile. How do you do that? You're always mm -hmm. smiling. You're always smiling. For those of you that know, um, Sister Faith, Minister Faith, you know, you're always smiling. You know, I, and I always wonder, you've been through so much. Yes. Well, I you know? say I've had my fair share of failures. I've had my fair share of disappointments in myself, making some bad decisions, and, you know, not obeying God in some instances. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I've learned. From those mistakes. I've learned, and... You know, to grow in Christ, and I've learned to be humble, and nothing right. changes me or yeah. moves me. Not because I'm good, but because Christ is in me that makes me the person wow. I am. Praise God. You know, and I'm determined that I'm going to be who Christ called me to be, regardless Nobody of what man I've, right. I've done or is doing or what he's saying. Say it. 
you are who God says you are. Yes, you are who God says you are. Amen. Is that is that is the name they call you? You know, is what the answer to. Hallelujah. Because when you answer, you accept it. I am a blessing. Say that again. Yes, it's not the name That's they call you. Not the name they call you. It's what you answer. You want to answer it, you accept it. Because they call me Joy, wow. I want to you. My name is Joy. You call me Pauline, I'm not going to answer. My name is Pauline. My name is Faith. I answer who I am. And you all there was listening to this. You are a child of God, a kingdom citizen. You are anointed and blessed. You are bought with a price. Jesus Christ shed his blood for you. You are already equipped to be effective and successful My and be a blessing to others. My don't God. let anybody rob you of that. I don't care what they want to say about you. Or what they want to call you. Or what they want to call you. You know what to answer to. The Bible says who you are. Praise God. You know something? I, as I was saying, I, I really congratulate you. You recently um, you know, went through your exams, did your studies, and you're a chaplain. Yes. Amen. Congratulations. She's a chaplain. Praise the Lord. And um, you know, I'm also a chaplain yes. for many, yes. many long years. Time. Long yes. time. Yes. Praise <laughs> the Lord. Some people see me, but they think that I'm just coming and, up. And I love about you. I mean, you I know, people so much think that belt, I am just coming. You have so much on your belt, but hell, you know, nobody and knows. Nothing changed me. Hello. <laughs> nothing changed me. From you know me, I mean, I'm the same, same, same person. Same, same, guess same, what? Same. From my old sister, Jules. <laughs> you know, from my old sister, Jules. You I'm understand? I'm happy you're like this because it I mean, makes it easier for me to relate to you. I'm, I'm, there's some people who are, who are after they so get so religious, you can't even and after be they get a title, come on, talk, yeah. You can't be yourself with them, and I love it about you. No matter how much titles, because I know you have a lot, nothing changes you. I can always call and say, Bishop, so and so is that name. All right, Faith, we're going to pray. That hasn't, hasn't changed, and I, I so appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> My desire. We we'll live a tight line and get in life because I'm also an ordained. That's so, what I'm gonna come with. Yes, yes. yes. Um, and it's to remain humble. Yes, yes. For yes, the Lord yes. Jesus. And that's what I wanted to say. You know, praise God. You you went through. Nobody gave you anything. No. You earned it. Yes. Praise <laughs> the Lord. When you when you when you were gonna do it, I was probably one of the first yes. persons that you called and you said, Bishop, what you it. think about this? Yes. And I said, Go it's for true. it. It's true. You know, go ahead and do it. Yes. You know? Yes. And you did your studies and you and praise God, hands were laid on you yes. a couple of weeks ago, and you're now an ordained minister. Guess what? You were ordained From before you was time. in your mother's home. From the beginning of time. You was ordained before I you was in your It has just now um, come to come to pass. Yes. Praise God. Sorry about that. You know, we're on the internet. Praise God. And, and many persons uh, out there. Um, and I just want to say congratulations. Yes, thank you very much. And there are many persons out there who, tonight that, you know, even in your church, you might not be doing anything now. You might not be active oh, in your wow. church. You may not be your desire. You. Your desire is to do things for God, for Christ, and don't get up and leave church because you're not being used in church. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. Because when the Lord is ready, you know nobody can stop Him. You know, talk to me. Nobody can stop Him when God ready to bless you. When God ready to bless you and to raise you up. Nobody, but never you try to push your, for your yes. time. Oh, wow, wait yes. on your season. Don't step out of the of, 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 of the will of God. Yes, because do. when you do that, you're on your own. Sit and wait on God and learn God right where you are, you know, and humble yourself. I mean, trust me. Humble yourself. And trust me, we're encouraging. We're encouraging. And praise the Lord. We're encouraging. Praise yes. God. Praise I'm God an, everything. I'm an encourager. Yes. Praise the Lord. Glory <laughs> be to God. Thank you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I mean, people see me here, but they don't know the, 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 the ministry. <laughs> They don't know. No. In my little backyard, <laughs> sure. in the early 80s, it's I had true. a little studio in yes. the backyard yes. that Pastor Bill that um, yes. I built for me. <laughs> what is studio? We had people come in that studio, like, um, you know, we, we had people walk through that studio, that the great pastors out of yes. Jamaica here. Yes. Nothing, I, I had no idea about radio broadcasting. Yes. I had no idea about radio broadcasting. Yes. I just bought all these equipments. I keep buying up all these microphones. You know when I get paid. <laughs> when I would get paid, instead of going to buy clothes, I go on barnets and I'm buying me speaker boxes. 
and I'm buying these microphones. Where am I going with these microphones? I'm setting up studio. That's what faith is. And I ain't know how to say I got a first day about what I'm doing. For. And I would yes. get those days, it was a cassette recorder. Yes. You can get a cassette recorder. Does anybody remember cassette recorders? <laughs> When you made sure you buy your TDK yes. and you buy your cassette because they got reel up. Somebody, you pray that it don't reel up because that's the end of it. You understand? And you can get a little cassette recorder for $39 or whatever. And I would record on my little cassette recorder. And you know your cars, it was cassette. It wasn't no deep CDs or anything. Right. And I would play myself in those cars and my music. Sometimes people would say which radio station that is. I was just there in the back. But look at that, I was in the back side of the desert, like yes. Moses. Yes. I was in the back side David. of the desert, yes. you know, and David, nobody saw me, nobody knew me. I was just little sister Jules, God but God was preparing yes. me. Yes. You understand, God was preparing I never went trying to push down anything, I never went big to be on the radio. I didn't do anything, I wait until my change comes. Yes, it's important. And one day, one day a pastor came to the house, Pastor Anthony Gager from the Open Bible Church in the Cayman Islands. And he heard one of my things played. He said, who is that? And I said, that's me, bitch. that's me, Pastor. And he said, that's you? He said, Monday morning, you go to ICCI and speak to Dr. Cummings. You need to go and do the broadcasting course because you have the voice already. You have the gift already. So God was preparing me. Yes. So when what I'm saying to you, you was ordained long ago. Yes. But God would have it now that is officially manifested. Yes. And I want to say congratulations mm -hmm. to you. Praise God. How many were blessed tonight? Praise God. How many were blessed? Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. I want to thank God for all of you. Praise God. Whatever it is, the call of God is on your life. Praise God. You know, just wait on God. Yes. Just draw close to God. Respect continue to praise Him. Lord. You know, continue to praise Him. You know, if you're not if you're not a Christian, you may be saying, I'm not a Christian. You know, I hear about all this hullabaloo and all this stuff. You're not concerned about all the hype. I'm not worried about all the hype. I'm here to encourage you. And I just want to say it was such a privilege and pleasure. I pray that you have been wonderfully blessed. Come on. Amen. We're going to be praying for you, but yes. I pray that you have been wonderfully yes. blessed. By this program, I pray that we have touched your hearts. Amen. You know, whether you're, you, you know, you might, you might have, um, you know, you might have a gift in with your hands. Some people are technical. Whatever you can do, do something also for the Lord. Yes. You know, whatever you can give, give something back to yes. the Lord and the work of the Lord. I know there's a lot of negativity out there and people try to class everybody as the same about you know all they want is money and all they want is this. There are some people that really abuse this thing. We got to be yes, honest. It's, it's an embarrassment sometimes yes. when you see how people get out there and beg and and, 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 and everything out of them is prosperity. God's got a pro it's just a prosperity gospel. Honestly, there is a time and season for Very everything. Yes. I, I, I don't believe in every day you posting about tomorrow you're going to get one million dollars. I don't believe that you should get up every morning and find, go on Google and find dollar notes and putting this out there. What's that going to do for to a soul that's lost in True. sin? What, what's that going to do to a sinner? What, what, what's that going to do to an alcoholic? What what you posting about you're going to get a million dollars three o'clock? I, I prophesy by tomorrow this time you go have one. It's not impossible, but are we only to prophesy to Christians to save folks? Are we not to encourage and uplift and empower and, and let people know there is a God? Yes, and this is the time for And this is the time the coming for of the Lord is because there. the coming of the Lord yes. is there. This is the time you, for so, so you know this yeah. is not the time for us to Tell just people to just God. talk about prosperity. No. Well, that's a part of that's a part of it. We have to preach the gospel. But we have to preach the full gospel. That's correct. The Lord we have to preach the full gospel. Jesus is coming soon. That's correct. I know that you may hear it, but he is coming yes, again. He is. You know, it, 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 he's coming again. It's evident. It's evident that he's signs coming again. When we look evident. around and see all of the signs, when we look and see even pastors are putting down their their are dropping their their their, their arms. Yes. Even even ministers are accepting things. And are falling for things yes. that they would never have done Which three years ago. Sure so has the word changed? Has God changed his mind? Why is it that, that, that you should change your mind as a Christian to accept something that God hates? Has God changed his mind? He said, I'm, you understand? I change not. I'm yeah, not I, I change God. not. I change, I change not. not. So we are not to change. You understand? You know, I told somebody, I posted the other day that, you know, we must hate 
what God hates. And, and and believe it or not, some were offended by that. Yeah. Because people don't want you to talk about the other side of God. Mm -hmm. People just want you to, you know, talk about God is love, God is good. We know that, but there is also another side of God. <coughs> you know, he's, he's, a, he's, he's, he's a God of wrath also. You understand? He's a jealous God. Doesn't mean he's jealous like a man and a woman would be jealous. But he's jealous over his own. Yes. He's jealous over his creation. Amen. God is jealous over his creation. That's God good. is jealous over those that, that, that have been made into his righteousness. You are not those who are in right standing with him. He's jealous over you. He's jealous over us. And so we got to, we, we got to remember that, that it's all about him. And we got to remember to praise Him. Yes, exactly. Praise God. Praise How many of you were blessed tonight? Go ahead and send up your likes. I'm about to leave. Praise God. Go ahead and send up your comments. Because we're coming down to the final. Praise the Lord. And I want to thank you, Sister Faith, for being on the show. We're going to pray in a few minutes. Yes. I just want to give all of you an opportunity. That's right. I just, if you have been blessed, if you have been blessed, I'm going to give you an opportunity to send your comments, send your prayer requests, give your testimonies. If it has been a blessing to you, testify, say something. What stuck with you? Was it about the children? Was it about the problems? Was it about the challenges? What is about the encouragement? Was it about, you know, standing your ground? What, 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 what it is that really stuck with you? Leave a comment. Go ahead and leave a comment. We're going to give you a few minutes. Start leaving your comments. Because I don't want to know that we've done this in vain. I could have been doing so much more. Minister, we could have been doing so much more. But we took time out. It's important. And I recognize it's the end time and we must And I want to thank you. I want to thank you for being a contributor towards the internet. I want to thank you very much. You're out there in the Cayman Islands, my hometown. And you know, whenever you can possible and you're very regular, you sow towards the internet. And I want to thank you for sowing. It's because of you many times where I can be on the air. God is good. Come on, somebody. I want to thank God for you, God woman you. of God, thank you, Jesus. for sowing into our ministry. It's important to sow. Yeah, it's I mean, you have to come sow. to our church. You're not a member of a visual American Church of God. But as you say, there is something about the ministry that, that really, you know, you're all going to be there together in heaven if we serve the Lord Jesus. The visions, the apostolics, uh, we're all going to be in heaven together. And, I'm not a religious person. I know that. I know that. I'm a woman of God. I'm yes. called. Yes. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm called by God. Not yes. to have titles or not, not to have labels. Yes. But I know who I am in Christ Jesus. I know the, what the word of God says I'm to wow. do. And if we do the word, we'll have a time to label each other and strike off each other. If I believe you're not doing the right thing, I'm going to pray for you. That's right. I'm not going to write right. you off. I'm not going to write you off. And disrespect you. I'm going to pray for you. Praise That's God. what God requires of us. Praise God. You know, right now the Bible says, fix. We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Amen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Amen. 2 Corinthians 4, Thank you, 18. Praise yes. God. We want to fix our eyes on the things that are unseen. That's what we do. Not we necessarily about. on what we can see with the natural eye. Because... If all, if if, 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 if if our hope is just in all we all can, we can see, see, we are men and women most, most miserable. miserable. We have no need for faith. We have no need for right. faith. Right. Praise the Lord. I pray and trust that you have been exhorted. You have been encouraged. Yes. Leave your prayer requests. Go ahead and just leave them. I'll be reading them. I'll be responding to you. Praise the Lord. Yes. Let's find our hands this way for somebody. Father, in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus, pray. truly just thank pray. you for a wonderful day, wonderful evening. Yes, wonderful cross. morning, whatever and time it is. To oh, the God. cosmos, to everyone who's listening, I release the power of the blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We declare healing and restoration right and anointing right now, Father. We come in agreement, say, where there are two or more gathered, you're in the midst of blessing to do good. Hallelujah. He said, one shall chase a thousand and two thousand. 10,000 to flight right now. In we decree and declare that over their hearts and lives of these people who are listening. We speak into their lives the word of God Thank that they are the blessed in the city and in the field. Thank you, Anything Jesus. to put their hand to our Anything blessed in because the name they of Jesus. live and live for your Lord Jesus. Help Hallelujah. us to know that you're God. We are yes, live yes, for your yes, spirit yes, and in truth. 
and the benefits if we live for you. Hallelujah. And our, our unsaved loved ones are saved. Yes, our children. Speak that word and Hallelujah. cancel the curse in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Those who are worried, concerned about to lose their homes, their husbands, yes, their children, cars, cars the their jobs, ministries. themselves, oh God. Oh God. Lord, I pray and plead right the blood in the name of Jesus. Sanctifying holy Hallelujah. blood of Hallelujah. Jesus Hallelujah. over Hallelujah. these people. I declare they are my people, they are my family. I pray for every child right now. We pull them in. Oh God, we pray for them in right now. The young people be saved and delivered by the blood and the Holy Ghost. I will say thank you, Father, for the privilege to speak to someone tonight. May someone be blessed. Bless Bishop. Bless what she's doing, oh God. Cover her under your blood. Give her the anointing to continue to grow from strength to strength in you. Bless her ministry. God, so many people don't even know the scope of her ministry here. But every time I come out to come and look for her and even in a blessing with her, God, because oh, God. she's such a blessing to so many people here in Jamaica. And I pray you just provide God. for her, God, God. And all the people she bless oh, on Facebook with her ministry. I pray, God, you'll open doors for her. Send oh, help Jesus. for her, mighty God, to continue, oh Lord Jesus. And for this, I thank you. Bishop Pleurus, the man of God, a humble man in the background, be he so effective, oh, mighty God, God, in this ministry. I pray for all the all the bishops out there, the pastors, pastors all the evangelists, the, the missionaries, the apostles who are going out and preaching your word, all the deacons, all the deacons, all the, the, the ushers, all the members, Christians God, whole, Christians oh, are under brothers and sisters. Oh God, your God. word says from the day of John the Baptist, oh, the kingdom of God suffered the violence, and the violence is taken by force. force. We declare to that name of Jesus, hallelujah. By force we now, force in the mighty name of Jesus. We all got to our Lord. missionaries, oh God. We call, oh God, we call for supernatural Jesus. provisions, oh Have God. Lord, we call, oh God, for Jesus. supernatural provisions, oh God, for us, your men and women of God. Come in agreement oh right God, now. for supernatural, supernatural provisions for your children, oh yes, God. Lord for God. your servants, for your daughters, for your sons, oh God. Lord, Raise up men and women, oh God. Raise them up, oh God. Lord, I pray for boldness right now to come to somebody right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, for boldness to come, oh God. I pray for fear to leave somebody right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for prayer warriors to rise up now. I command prayer warriors to be loose and intercessors to be loose in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, I pray I pray for every conference. I pray for every crusade. I pray, oh God, for every every um vocational Bible study, oh God. Lord, I pray, oh God, for souls to be saved. Yes, I pray, Jesus. God, for every plan, oh God, for, for, for services, oh God, for Bible God. studies, oh yes, God. Lord, Lord I release Jesus. and unleash, oh God, the spirit of yes. blessings into the atmosphere, yes. oh God. Lord, oh God, for yes. whatsoever yes. I sow, yes. I will reap, Jesus. oh God. Lord, raise up your men and your women. You, Lord, there are men and women who are discouraged. You, there are men and women, oh God, who have never been conferred with a tight Lord God, but your hands is on their lives, oh God. Your hands is on their lives, oh God. Lord, you are bringing them from the backside of of the deserts, oh God. Lord, there's somebody listening to me right now who's about to come forward. There's somebody listening to, about to me right now who's about to raise up in Sunday school. Who's about to become a Sunday school teacher. There's somebody who's coming forward, oh God, who's going to be on the prayer band. There's somebody who's coming forward, oh God, who will be on the usher's board. Right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now, Father, we pull them forward. Lord, there's an apostle rising up. There's an apostle rising up. There's a prophet rising up. There's a a prophetess rising up, Thank there's an evangelist Lord. rising up, Thank there's a preacher Jesus. rising up, there's a teacher rising up, there's a feeder, yeah. a pastor rising up, Thank there's an overseer Lord. rising up in the name of Jesus. Thank and we Lord. come against every tongue yeah. and we condemn every yes, tongue the that will try to Jesus. come against your men and women, your children of in God. We condemn it in the name of Jesus and we loose them in the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, we loose them. Thank we release Lord. you into the hands of God. We release you. We are called to be kingdom builders. Jesus. We are called to be kingdom builders. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, even though some might not want to accept it in the name of Jesus, but we are the ambassadors. We are the ones to be termed and called for excellency. His excellency. We are kids of the king. We are kids of the king of kings and the lords of lords. And Lord, oh God, I pray for a shift in the atmosphere. I pray for a shift in the atmosphere. I pray, oh God, for boldness to come forward. I pray for fear to leave right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, get out of her. Get out of him. Get out of that room. Get out of that business. Get out of that ministry. 
Get out of that boy, that girl. Get out of that marriage. Out of that. Get out. Get out of that body right now. In the name of Yeshua. In the name of Jesus. 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 Praise the Lord, and I just want to say to God, be all glory and great. This has been your hostess, praise God, your DJ, Bishop Dr. Juliet Fagan, same Apostle Fagan, praise God, same Ambassador Fagan, praise the Lord, <laughs> hallelujah, glory be to God. And as I say, we are, we are to have dominion, yes. praise God, we are to dominate. Yes. Yes. And not until people's minds are renewed yes, that's can they appreciate that's certain correct. things. That's correct. You know where I am? Kingdom builders. Yes. We have a domain yes. that has been given to us. Yes. And we must occupy until Jesus returns. That's the word of God. We have power and authority. We are not to be little wish I just want to say to God be the glory. Amen. Mm. So until next time. God bless you. I love you. Sister Faith, you just want to say something. God bless you. Thank God you. Bless you. God please, bless please you. Stay in the word of God. Wait on the Lord. Love the Lord all of your heart. Just love the Lord. Be the pastor alone. Move forward and love the Lord. God bless, God bless you. you until next time. Shalom. God bless. Go ahead and set up your lights, your loves, as we're going to be coming off of the air. <laughs>